Oh, what's up, fellow nerds? I'm your host, Dr. McKay, and welcome back to my channel. So there has been a lot of debate over my breakdown of the BC-34 Deadless class ship size. So I wanted to get my nerd on and do a dedicated size breakdown of the BC-304 for you all. And once and for all, try and determine the size of the ship. This method I have used is not 100% accurate, but it does a good job at conveying the actual size of the ship. But before we get started, if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. So let's get into it. Firstly, I want to explain the method of my madness on how I will be working out the size of the 304. Firstly, we need a measuring scale for this to work. I will be using the F302 fighter interceptor for this measuring device. So what's the size, or should I say the width of the F302, so we know what we are working with. The F302 is 26 meters wide from wingtip to wingtip. So with that measurement in hand, we need to scale the F302 to the BC-304's hangars. And with various images from the show, I have chosen this image as the scale. So now we know where to position the 302 in the hangar. Let's get creative and position the F302 at this scale on the front of the 304 and see how many fit across it. So as you can see, we have 28 F302s lined up next to each other across the top of the ship. And with a bit of math, we do 26 meters times 28 F302s, which equals a whopping 728 meters long from engine to bow, not including the antenna. Okay, that's pretty big. Longer than what I said in my breakdown. But let's continue with this scale. So now we have determined the length Let's do the width using the same method, but this time with another angle of the 304 with the same scale of the F302. So as you can see, I have placed two F302s in the hangar in the positions I believe it is in the show. And with the scale, let's place our 302s across the width of the 304. As you can see, we have 15 F302s lined up across the ship. So again, let's use some math to find the width. So we do 26 meters, times 15 F-302s equals 390 meters wide. That's pretty wide. So now we have that, we know the width and the length. Next, we shall do the height. So we do the same method to find the height using the F-302s. Let's start by rotating it around and make a line from the bottom to the top. And as you can see, we get five F-302s long. So with this math, again, we do 26 meters times 5 F-302s equals 130 meters high. So there you go. The size of the BC-304 Deadless class battleship is 728 meters long with a width of 390 meters and a height of 130 meters using this method. But I want to remind you that this is an estimate using the F-302 size in relation to where it would be positioned in the hangar, according to the show. So now we have come up with this size, let's compare it to the Nimitz class aircraft carrier. Okay, so before we get to the Nimitz, let's compare the F-302 to an F-A-18 fighter jet. An F-A-18 has a wingspan of 13.62 meters. So that's about half the width of the F-302's 26 meter wingspan. So with that scale in mind, let's place both crafts on the Nimitz. The Nimitz has a deck length of 332 meters long and a width of 76.8 meters wide. So with these sizes, the F302 can fit three across the width of the deck. And as you can see, I have also placed the FA18 on the deck too, to show you the size comparison between the F302s. But how does the Nimitz compare now to the 304? This next image shows the Nimitz next to the 304. I've even placed the Nimitz on the left hanger of the 304 to show the 302s are the same size to scale. So now we can see the difference in size of the two vessels. What are your thoughts on this? I have also done an image of the 225 meter long 304 size with the 302s to scale to show you that the 225 meter 304 is far too small for the F302s. Here's another image to show you more accurately this scale. With the 304 at 225 meters long, that means using the F302's width of 26 meters, you would fit around 8.6 F302's across the length of the ship. And with this scale, the F302's would not fit in the hangars. So 225 meters is too small for the 304, meaning it has to be bigger to accommodate the F302's. How much bigger? Not too sure, but this is a good explanation on what it could be. 
Also, it's sometimes hard for our brains to scale a ship in the backdrop of space, as there is nothing there to scale it to. This is why I've chosen the F-302 as a measuring device, as we know the definitive size of 26 meters wide, and we, and we see the F-302s in the hangar and leaving the hangar in the show, giving us a rough estimate of where to place the F-302s in the hangar, like I've done in this video. The rest of the measuring is explained throughout the video. Also, I want to make a point about the construction of the BC-304. Just because it's this big does not mean it can't be built on Earth. We never see the shipyard in the show besides the X-303 hangar, and I don't think the 304s are constructed here. I believe Earth built new shipyards to accommodate the size of the 304, and let's not forget that all the major nation governments on Earth knew about the Stargate program at this point in the show and are all possibly a part of the construction process. So with that in mind, it's not impossible to build these ships at this size. Plus, Earth had access to alien technology that possibly helped in the construction. Hell, even the Asgard probably helped in the early construction. So yes, I believe the BC-304 ships are around the size of 700 meters long. Many may agree and many may disagree. I have done my best to figure this out using the F302 size and I have shown all my evidence for this so the rest is up to you now to decide for yourselves. If you like the content please feel free to hit that like button to forget to comment and subscribe for more and please leave your thoughts on what I have explained here. I've been your host Dr McKay and thank you all for watching this size breakdown. Cheers and goodbye.